were it not for the fact that Cabin Boy is produced by Tim Burton, I I don't think it ever would have come, out, come on my radar. Now, I don't know how much involvement Burton had. I don't know if it is just a simple case that he put money for it, which, you know, often when something is produced by somebody, that is the case. Um, but at the same time, he could have been more involved. If anybody knows, please tell me. But either way, I'm glad that I saw this. It's different. It's got 5.3 out of 10 on IMDb, which is not an amazing rating, but I feel like I kind of agree with it. But I, I enjoyed it. But it's one of those films that once I've seen it, it's kind of like, well, that was interesting. I will treasure the memory. I don't think I'll ever sit down and watch the full thing again. It's only an hour and 20, not overly long. But it's directed by Adam Resnick, um, with a story by Resnick and also Chris Elliott, who stars in this as Nathaniel Mayweather. And the, the narrative sounds like it's something that wouldn't appeal to me. The description from IMDb reads as follows. A foul-mouthed, fa- foul, well, that's a tongue twister, a foul-mouthed finishing school graduate mistakenly winds up on an ill-fated fishing boat and faces the wrath of a crew that considers him bad luck. Basically, Nathaniel ends up on this fishing boat through one reason or another, um, pretty entertaining reasons uh, when you watch it, and things start to go drastically wrong. And then they end up in the most unusual of places and... When they're on land, it's interesting. When they're on the boat, it's interesting. With this, I'd say just expect the unexpected. It takes all kinds of peculiar directions that are a lot of fun to watch unfolding. It's definitely um, not something I expected. If I had written you know, a, a bullet list of things that I expect um, would happen on this, absolutely not the case. The fact that Nathaniel is... Um, he comes from a very wealthy family. He's not very um, sea-weathered. This is the exact opposite kind of situation that he expected he would be on. He was meant to be on a yacht, put it that way. Um, and the fishermen he meets are the antithesis of his own personality. And that brings us a lot of hilarity with them, I guess, judging him and seeing him as just a bit of a, a pretty boy with, with a lot of wealth. Uh, and also judging him for his his idiocy and accidentally getting on a fishing boat instead of a yacht but he does come up with some surprises and it's pretty fun I don't want to tell you too much more about this because you know I don't want to ruin it too much but it is it's entertaining it's pretty interesting as I said once I've seen it once that's enough the novelty kind of wears off afterwards I don't personally have any interest in watching it again but the element of surprise was something that I really enjoyed. So if you like films that does that they don't they don't take themselves seriously, but where the craft is actually pretty good. Like it's relatively well directed. The narrative is reasonably well developed. The acting is, you know, good. I have absolutely no issues with the acting whatsoever. And indeed the characters, the characters are quite well developed. And the editing, the editing is for the time, this being 1994 quite pleasing so although it's not a masterpiece it's good fun for a one-time watch regardless of what tim burton did or did not have to do with it i'm pretty satisfied with it